We won't spend too much time here. You can hear the falls in front of me. But, uh, I just want to show you a little bit. It's not too geologically complex here. It's just kind of interesting. As we walk towards it, all the signs in here. Is a seat? It's going to probably go just a little bit up there. Just get a look here. It's a little art station. As you can see, the falls over there. See the little trail. Go over there a little bit. Talk a little bit. What you have here, basically, is you have a pink Archean rock, which is a tone of light. And on top of it, you've got black basalt, the big continent rift. Now, we know that the overlying mid continent rift rock was surface lava flows. How do we know that? So you see things like vesicles. That's where gases escape the lava and reach the surface. And plus, it's really pretty. I'll get a GPS for you when I get up here a little bit. You can see the pink rock. It's Archean. I forget the exact age. 2,700 million years old. Big continent rift is 1,100. You're looking at 1,600 million year unconformity, which is huge. It's a guy down there fishing for scale. I don't even know if I can get to any of the lava. Oh, well, GPS. There's our GPS. So we're at 46.92939 minus 84.42571. Yeah, you can see that's towards Lake Superior. Let's see if we can get over here. You can see the contact between the red rock, which is the Archean tonal light, and the black big kind of that rip of salt right there. Let's see if we can see any over here. I think there are probably stopped up some a little closer to shore. I could be wrong. I do forget things. Now, let's try to uh, go upstream a little bit. So we can see it up there. Never noticed this massive quartz vein before. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get there. I'll give it a go. Okay, you can uh, see behind me. Scamper to the top and try to get down there. See what I see. The basalts of the mid-continent rift go towards Lake Superior. I'm trying to get back to the main trail, hopefully without slipping again. You can see some of the mid-continent rift and the cobbles along some of the tonal light. All these cobbles are local. This was glaciated. Glaciers did come through here. Something else interesting. The park right here is marked as the halfway point of Trans Canada route. So I think that's kind of cool. Location is in the roadside book. I hate to confess I've not seen any Sasquatches, lights in the sky, aliens, or any of that stuff since I've been out here. It's almost as if that stuff doesn't exist. For those of you that care about glacial geology, See the glacial deposits here, you see pebbles. Now these will have some more foreign stuff in them. It's very sandy. But this is outwash. At some point the Chippewa River would have been up at this level. And then as the ice retreated and outwash just kept flowing out and cutting down, cutting down, as Lake Superior helped find a base. Yeah, see this is stuff. This almost looks like the porphyritic rock way up uh, by that biff outcrop. You can see the pebbles are a lot more rounded than the more recent bouldery looking stuff. Got 
guys still out there fishing. See him right there. There's the observation deck. What you can see is you can see the tonal light down here. It's at full force. A lot of times the one on the right is just a trickle. And you can see the black basalt just resting right on top of the tonal light there. I just wish I could have shown you the vesicles. But, uh, you know, it's a little harsh out there. But it's very beautiful. Now I'm going to do your moment of zen for you. Come on, Truckzilla. It's time to go. Time to go get some food and then cross back into the States. <laughs>